Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to another video. So, in this video, I'm showing you how to replace the driver's seatbelt in a 2011 Nissan Maxima SV. It doesn't matter what year you got, as long as it's between 2009 to 2014. Any other models I'll have in the description below that share the same part number. But all you're going to need is a 10 mil, you're going to need some pliers, and you're going to need a 14 mil wrench. Well, socket, sorry. So, if you're not aware, any time that a car airbags have deployed, I've already fixed that. But the airbag was deployed, and whenever airbags is deployed, there's a mechanism inside here that puts tension and retracts the seatbelt. That way, you're held up against the seat. And once that happens, the seatbelt got to be sent out to get rebuilt, the bottom section. And I found a couple on eBay that's does it for between 40 to 60 dollars and in my case i went to a salvage yard they had a 2010 nissan maxima base model and that was in a rear end accident so airbags never deployed so i pulled the two front driver's side seatbelts from that car and another way you could tell you don't hear no rattling noise inside so i told you that's one sign and this being able to pull up and pull down is another sign that it's good and everything. And I found, I got I pulled these from a salvage yard both sides for 50 bucks. So now we're going to proceed to doing this. So what you want to do, and it doesn't matter what order you do this in, but I'm going to start from the top. You're going to pull this. Let me set you on the tripod. Alright, so what you want to do? Pull this towards you. Uh, so I didn't mean to pull this part out, but I put that back in. So I got your 14 mil. Uh, take it out. And then at the bottom, it's another 14 mil. So we're going to take that out. And don't worry, it comes out with these three things. But I'm going to replace these because I got some rust on it. Like so. Alright, so now I got better ones. So now, next thing you want to do. Is pull this outwards and go all the way down along the sides. We're gonna lift up here, that's so, all, and then do the same thing and pull from the bottom. And now I'm going to repeat the process for the front. It's the same thing. Sorry about that. So now you're gonna get the seatbelt and slide it through the little slit. And you're able to take out this whole bead from the pan. So we're gonna set that aside. And that's another 14 mil bolt right here. And this one's a 10. But before we do that, we're gonna pull out this. So you're gonna need like a small pick or tiny flathead screwdriver and this little notch. A little notch, so let's pull it inwards. 
You want to be gentle and it comes right up. Now I'm going to set you back on here. I'm going to take this out. Like I said, it's a ton now. You see? Hear that validating noise? That means you either throw this out or send it out to get rebuilt. But check first with a, your local salvage yard. They may have it cheaper. Like in my case, it was the same thing. It was cheaper to get it from the salvage yard than having it sent out to get rebuilt and then shipped back to you. So now I'm taking this out. So now we can throw that away. Sorry about that. So now I'm gonna transfer it to the new one. Put the bolt first. Put this little, I guess you could call it a washer. And then put this and just spin it. Okay, so now we're gonna get our new one. Put it in this place. Uh, so I don't need the pliers for this, but sometimes depending on how much tension it did on this part, the seatbelt, this will bend inwards. So whenever you put your new one on and it, these holes ain't lining up, just cause this is bent inwards. So all you do is get pliers, bend it back outwards, and it'll fit. In this case, that didn't happen. It just tightened the seatbelt. So we're just gonna put this 10 mil bolt back in. And then we're going to put this 14 mil bolt back at the bottom. Then tighten the bottom. this back in push it in now once it's fully in and flush push the back tab in and it'll lock it all right so now we're going to retract this piece so remove the wetter stripping from the side and pull this forward and then push the metal mechanism in the back forward hold it with your hand or something that way it's going to retract back in Hold it right there. And then you want to slide the tabs that you see right behind this lever. So, so and it's back in. And now we can put this back on. And then we could pop the weather stripping back in. Get this piece, put it in sideways first, and then it'll pop back in place. Like so, and then we're gonna go back to the bottom, bring this down, and then we're gonna get our bolt, pop this back in. Yep, hold on. I gotta take these off first. Hold on. Slide it through and then put these back on. Alright. So now we're going to pull the seatbelt down and feed it through the hole. And you want to feel. Where 
the hole is. Camera's in my way, so I gotta guess where it's at. Alright, so I found it. Now we're gonna tighten it. Like so. So now we're gonna put the B pillow trim back in. Feed it there behind the seat belt. And then we're gonna feed the seat belt through the slit, like so. And then line every single tab up. Line these two tabs up with this hole. This tab, you see right there, and here, and here. And then make sure all these is lined with its appropriate holes or slots. So I'm gonna pop those back in. It's real simple. Once each one is in, your hair clicks in. Then we're gonna lift this up. That way it's on the way. Make sure your hair don't clicks. I'm not sure the camera's picking up any of the clips. Well, this one, this little ledge is supposed to be on top of the wiring harness. I accidentally put it underneath. So then now that's locked, and then put this door seal trim put the front side first that's all and then wrap yourself around you want to make sure all of it clicks if not one of the tabs ain't in all right and then i can't open the door all the way on the driver's side because of the fender so I'm gonna see if I can get y'all from right here. Sorry, I can't get the front for y'all because of this fender. But let's repeat the same process. Make sure everything lines up. And you hear all the click noise. And voila. And that's how you replace your front driver and passenger seatbelts. That's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.